Hey friends, I want to talk about a serious topic today. I know this will resonate with a lot of my peers I've worked with over the years. My perspective comes from having experienced these thoughts and emotions, so no judgment intended here. This is a topic more of us need to have dialogue about with ourselves, as well as the ones we love in order to elevate our life experience to another level of contentment we haven't experienced before. So, have you ever thought to yourself, I don't know if my work life feels empty because I'm depressed or if I'm depressed because it feels empty. Hmm. Do you ever have a sense of desperation in your successful career because you don't feel like this is what you were intended to do in life? I think most of us can agree with that we've had that experience. Do you feel like you are in a pressure cooker and the longer you stay in that state is becoming less and less tolerable? I've been there. Do you have a minor or major panic attack laying in bed worried about how you perform tomorrow, this week, this quarter, this year, even next year? Thinking that far ahead, crazy. Do you identify yourself with your work and simply not happy with the status quo? I think we've all been there, especially me. I'm no therapist, but I can tell you from experience that you need to spend some time in self-reflection if you're having these thoughts. You don't have to be that way. You are not your job, you are not your mind. We spend so much time in the world of constant external stimulation, but most of us simply aren't getting enough quiet time inside our bodies listening to what it is trying to tell us. It may sound crazy, but our bodies do talk to us. It's not a written language, it's a language of love, and it has infinite potential to heal us when we feel broken inside. I'm happy to say that today, here and now, a lot more of me is here, and I attribute that to a consistent yoga practice over the last 18 months or so. If you're wondering what that means exactly, it's one of those things that in life that you have to experience. Words alone aren't sufficient to describe it because an experience, a feeling, greater awareness, more life in the body, more energy, extended periods of equanimity, a stronger sense of connection with all living things, more conscious, more flexible, more patience, less ego, less anxiety, less fear, less resentment, less anger, less self-loathing. If you're seeking any of those emotional shifts in your life today, then take my advice. Go sign up for a series of yoga classes and stay committed to it for at least a weekly session on the mat for two months or more. I guarantee you'll experience one or all of these emotions I previously mentioned. <clears throat> emotions are the origin of our thoughts and how we interact with the world around us. We all deserve to see the universe from a lens of contentment, gratitude, and compassion. That's the way God intended. Yoga is a bridge for you to get there. I know it from my own personal experience and sharing with others that I practice with. I'm excited to let everyone know that I'm taking next steps to elevate my yoga practice to the next level. I'm starting a 200 hour yoga foundations instructors course next month because I'm passionate about sharing the yoga experience with my clients. I want to share the love that the practice of yoga has to offer us all. I also expect to learn much more about myself in the process. So if you practice yoga and can relate to my experience, please pay the message forward by sharing this video with your network. Remember how you love yourself is how you teach others to love you. Namaste.